So we first told you last week how unemployment fraud is spreading in Massachusetts. And since then, we've heard from a lot of you who say your legitimate unemployment claims have not been paid in weeks as the state tries to sort out what's real and what's fake. And the worst part, there are no clear answers from state officials. You're going on your fifth week with no payment. That's right. Jenny McDonald has been patient. Her pandemic unemployment benefits stopped coming on May 22nd, but now she's fed up. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough time. I, I, I get that, but um, the state of Massachusetts needs to be more honest. For weeks, her benefit status simply read pending. This former wine tasting host didn't know why until she finally picked up the phone and called unemployment. That's the saddest part of all of this. If you don't call them or you don't reach out to them, nobody contacts you. Turns out her claim had been flagged as possibly fraudulent. After several tries to get through, a rep told her she had to verify her identity and send photo IDs via text message, something concerning to McDonald. I sent my passport, I sent my license, my social security number, a picture of me holding my license to verify my face. Uh, and I sent my Medicare card. I'm not going to speak to any of the specifics on that. For two weeks, we've asked the state how widespread the fraud is, how many people are impacted, and how much money does the state believe it's paid out in fake unemployment. Washington State, also hit by scammers, says it paid out hundreds of millions, but was able to claw back 300 million of that. So far, no answers in mass, including from Governor Baker, who was asked about it this week. It's very important to us that people get the money they're entitled to, but it's also very important to us that they, in fact, be the people they that they their application says they are. What we hear is that people don't even realize that they're not getting their money and they aren't told why. State Senator Patricia Jalen chairs the Joint Committee on Labor and Workforce Development with oversight of unemployment. The committee doesn't yet have answers either. We need to get better information to people generally and individually. We don't know how big the problem is. Ginny McDonald says the state must do better. This is not the way to, to, to deal with people who have lived in this state. I've lived in this state all my life. So just today, after four weeks with no payment, McDonald told us she finally received all those backlogged benefits payments, but that's only because she says she was persistent. The state will not tell us how many other claims are still being held up.